I booted the MacBook Pro 17 inch unibody into the terminal mode and then no huh yes with command s and I typed in this NVR RAM command and now I'm going to disable the crucible which is a security issue security patch for malware now I'm going to go back into the uh, terminal and this is where I'm going to type this command C S R U T I L. Oops, disable. Okay, so that the system integrity protection is disabled. This allows me to reboot the computer and install this other software, which I downloaded. So now, and then I'm going to have to enable this security patch after I uh, key in that NVRAM thing again. And so that we can switch to the Intel processor. So now I'm going to reboot. So it should successfully reboot using the Intel processor. But I'm going to have to do this one more time with the NV RAM code, which I'll include someplace in this video. So now it's just using. It's just using the uh, Intel. That's nice. Intel Sorry the video is so jumpy. I'm holding the camera myself. So now we're using this Intel HD graphics, which just has the 384 megabytes. So it's low res lower resolution, but there's lots you can do with this thing. This is already it's an i7, so it's perfect for music and and you don't really need the high resolution because <clears throat> even even for using iMovie, I'm sure it's just going to be fine. So now there's this other program, which I already did, which I already downloaded, which I have to uh, install. And there's other things, there's other ways of doing this, but this is kind of a a simple way. Okay, the NV variable, the one that I showed you up there, I guess that's integrated in this this time. First time you have to put it on, but the second time you don't. And so that's the that big that big variable there. Because it has to be done twice. One time disable the SIP and then, then you have to uh, enable the SIP so the security is, is protected. Okay, so then we just push, push buttons here. And it's also the second, the video acceleration drivers, kernel extensions for the respective installed dedicated video card will be removed from the systems, library, extensions directory, and backed up to the root of the hard drive. Those are the files for the uh, <clears throat> AMD defective uh, processor, because it has two processors, that one and the Intel one. And... Okay, launch daemon will be installed that prevents the video card drivers from being reinstalled. During software updates, that's pretty cool. Ensures the necessary NVRAM variables is set correctly if PRAM is reset. Okay, that's nice. Thank you. And so in the systems compatibility check, 
program cannot continue if any it's already that system integrity protection that's disabled that's that one right there okay compatible machine okay the machine's compatible it's going to do this other stuff the appointed patches okay i gotta type in the password again There's a lot of videos on this topic on the internet. I'm just making my own, mostly for myself. And uh, if any of you want to watch it, check it out. I'll try to make a better one when I have time. Because I'm too busy fixing computers for years. Everybody's fixing Macs these days, which is fine. Not should, they shouldn't go bad. They never used to go bad so much like this. but. Okay, so let's see. Okay, now, now I'm going to have to enable that. So if I, I'm going to restart because I want to enable the security patch protection. So I'm going to do Command R again. So that I can go back into the uh, terminal, enable. Crucital. C S R U T I L utility. Now it's it should be running on uh, the internal Intel processor uh, uh, graphics, and uh, which is probably integrated on the one of the process one of the CPUs maybe I don't know, but the other AMD is a separate one and that's the one that's become defective for the 2011. In many cases, it was recalled. But these are good machines, good solid computers. And this is a 17 inch, so it's really. The matte screen. i7 processor. Some people even change the AMD chip out. However, not doing that. I don't find a need for it. So this is taking a long time. But we should get this is recovery mode. It was command and R. That's what I pressed when I rebooted. And we're going to go back into the screen. And click on terminal. Okay. No more lines though, because we're not using that screen. I'm going to go back over here to utilities. Holding my camera. And I'm going to type in CSR UTIL. This time I'm going to type enable. Okay. Security integrity protection. Please restart the machine for the changes that take place. Okay, well, we'll see here. What I'm going to do is reboot. And now the security has been enabled. Let's see if it reboots. 
I guess it does. That's what's good about that program. You don't have to type in this information a second time, only the first time. It's a two-stage process, and a lot of people don't tell you that. You gotta do this one time to, to disable. The crucital. And then you have to enable. So here we're back here. And I didn't type a capital on my name. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's that's ten minutes. That's about how long it took that. So now it's all nice and I go back over here so it's the Intel HD graphics that's pretty cool we're not using the other uh, AMD one anymore which I might have over here let me see down what I do with it So we should be good now. And I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to reboot it. 17 inch MacBook. It's 12 minutes, 15 seconds. That's about how long it took the second stage of this. Okay, so. All set.